Hello everyone! In this video I will show you a simple script that allows you to drag a racket with your finger if you are making some kind of breakout game clone. Script is available by the link in the description. Let's take a quick look at what do we have in our scene. First game object is a ball. It's important that it is assigned to ball layer. Second game object is a racket, which is assigned to racket layer. These are two layers that I created here. Ok, back to ball. Ball has circle collider with physics material to the attached, named bouncy, that has friction option set to 0 and bouncing is set to 1. So the ball can bounce from other game objects without any speed loss. Also, ball has rigid body 2D with gravity scale set to 0, collision detection set to continuous and freeze 0 rotation. Last component here is ball script. Here it is. It's a simple script that just add a force to ball, so the ball starts moving in upright direction at the start. The racket. It has racket layer as I said before. Let's zoom in a bit. Here, racket has circle collider that detects touch of your finger. It's positioned at racket's handle place. Now let me explain why do we need those ball and racket layers. We need them because we don't want the ball to collide with handle when it flies over it. To manage it, we created those two layers and then in project settings, physics 2D section, we unchecked collisions between ball and racket layers, right here. Now ball and racket don't collide with each other, but at the same time we definitely do want the ball to collide with the racket. We'll see how it's done at the moment. So racket has circle collider and rigid body, which is kinematic, with collision detection set to continuous and freezed zero rotation. Also it has a script that allows us to drag it with finger touch. Here it is commented, so you can easily figure it out how it works. Ok. So, how ball collides with the racket at the end? To make it happen, we added a child game object to our racket named net, which is assigned to default layer, so ball can collide with it. Net has box collider to decomponing for this reason. So ball collides with the net, but doesn't collide with racket's handle. Pretty simple. Also here we have some rectangles. One of them is green background, three another are representing walls with box colliders attached. That's it. This is how it works on my Android device. Hope you liked this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next time.